Perry Pencil. Hello, welcome back to Perry Pencil. Last week I drew, I showed you how to draw a werewolf for the Halloween season. This week we're going to be looking at Dracula. That's right, uh, the one of the oldest uh, horror characters in history. Um, very, very popular. Twilight and all of those other things that came out of it. Uh, so we're going to do Dracula. It's going to, mine's going to have a bit of a twist to it, uh, but it will be Dracula nonetheless. Let's get it started. All right, so this is pretty much a, um, a kind of portrait style uh, for Dracula. So let's go ahead on and bring the head down to about here. And what I'm going to do is, of course, divide the page in half as usual. His face is going to take up majority of the paper. So try to draw your box as big as possible on the page. Remember, as I always say in all my videos, lines do not need to be perfect. You do not need a ruler. It just takes up time and it makes you concentrate too much on things being perfect and straight, ruining the drawing. Trust me, I know this. I've done this a million times. Um, and I've gotten to the point where you just have to draw and be comfortable enough with what you're drawing so that you don't have to make mistakes. And if you do, it's okay. Uh, mistakes are meant to be made so they can correct them the next time. Oh, this is we're going to be the temple line here for Dracula. Okay, so we have our box here. And uh, what I like to do is show you how to, when you're drawing a human head, I usually like to start from the point, which is the dividing line. And then you want to, <coughs> excuse me, carve out the, um, the actual head or skull, if you will, of, of who you're drawing. So you can have it come down a little longer and then taper it over to the bottom like so. As you see, I got half of it done. This gives me the idea of where everything is in relation to everything else. If you notice, I have the perimeter here to come all the way over here and repeat the same thing on the left side of his head. Let's bring it in a little bit. So it, it just give you an overall general idea of where you want your head to be and within the box, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and sketch out the ears. And you can just put like uh, little arcs here. Um, for those of you who've been drawing for a long time and you're advanced, you can just go ahead and do whatever ears you want, doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the ears in place. And we're gonna go ahead and drop his neck in, like so. I usually like to put an oval right in here so you can kind of get a collar or an idea of what the collar or the shoulder is gonna be. And of course, this is the type of drawing where the shoulder's gonna go right off the edge here. So we don't see any of his um, shoulder and uh, the arms and things like that. So it's just gonna stop here, okay? It's just like doing a portrait. This is not a realistic portrait. I do want to throw that out there. All right, let's go ahead and start with the eyes. So with the eyes, we're gonna go ahead on and uh, this version of uh, Dracula has a menacing kind of look, of course, because he's a horror character and he should look menacing. And uh, repeat the same thing with the other side. The eyes can be somewhat different. The eyebrows rather, excuse me. So these are the lines for his eyebrows. And uh, what I like to do is go ahead on and put the eyes in right here. And I usually try and go off the temple line in. If you notice, do the same thing here. And you know, you pretty much be roughly within the same place. And then the third eye in the middle is how you measure it. But I'm not going to go too dark. I don't want to confuse anybody have them making a third eye of uh, Dracula. Okay. With the nose, I'm going to come down. You're going to make a... Uh, a rectangular shape and you want to drop in a, a, a upside down triangle you will come out to the side like so and it's gonna be shaped like a diamond this is how I rough out my nostrils okay and this is how I actually structure and do my noses here I'm gonna make the bridge of the nose a little thinner than what it is here and then come out to the side this way okay with the lips we just gonna drop lip line in right now and we'll come to all of that later all right, now go back up to the eyes and we're going to go ahead on and drop Dracula's eyes in. His eyes are somewhat wide because you can kind of see um, his retina in the middle. We're going to go right on ahead and draw that in there. Just draw it to be creative, have fun. 
Uh, hopefully, as you're following me, you have fun with this tutorial. And again, he, to me, uh, when I used to watch the uh, the old Dracula films back in the, uh, <clears throat> I want to say the 30s, um, where they used to have the film and you would see Dracula make this face and it looked weird. It almost looked like he wanted the, the female that he was trying to put in a trance to look into his eyes and he would make this weird look that I'm drawing now in this tutorial and it would be very, very concentrated and, and his eyes would be open kind of wide and he would want the female to trust him and look into her eyes or his eyes rather and they would go up and be hypnotized. Okay, so now that we've gotten that, we're not going crazy over it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and thicken up his eyebrows now, kind of bush them out a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm doing here is just called feathering. You know, we take and feather uh, the pencil into the shape that you want, which would be his eyebrow. Let's get a little dark under here. And do the same thing for his right side. And again, this tutorial also should be like a, you know, let's say if you have a school project and they say, hey, you know, do you want to draw a, a, a horror character or something? You come here and once you be able to come here and have some options in Perry Pencil. That's all. I thought about it and I said, you know what? I want those that come here that really want to know, learn how to draw some characters, learn how to draw Dracula. Uh, I know it sounds corny and old and outdated, but why not? You know, why not just to have the practice, you know? That's how I look at it. You should be able to draw just about anything that anybody asks you to draw. Now, to a limit, of course, there's different styles of what you draw. There's realistic portraits and things like that, photorealist drawings and all of that. And, you know, I really tight. You take the comic book approach. That's just me. I've been doing comics for years, comic books and animation. So that's kind of what I'm used to here. Move this over. It looks like it's kind of off a little bit. Okay, now as you see, he has this focus that I'm talking about that I'm kind of good with. Now, I'm gonna bring his cheek lines in here. Same thing over here. And uh, he has these weird kind of bags under his eyes, like he does not sleep. Although we know that vampires are a lot like bats and they had their nocturnal, I think, you know, you can quote me on that and, you know, correct me. You know, I have no problem with being corrected. But uh, believe that they, of course, uh, sleep during the day, come out at night. And uh, here, just drop some lines up under here like that. Same here. I really want these drawings to look creepy. Don't want them to look all refined and, and perfect and all of that. I want these horror characters to have a distinguishedness about them. All right, so we're gonna put the temple line in. That's why it's there. Same thing here. Uh, now let's get with his nose. With the nose, we're gonna bring it around like so. Let's get the nostrils in there. I'm gonna choose what side I want it to, to have the line come all the way down, which would be that side. We're gonna stop here. And uh, going around the nose, around it under like this. Do the same thing on this side. I usually like to keep my nose as simple. I don't try and go all crazy. What I mean by that is making it like photorealistic or like a real person and all of that. Uh, I just rather just have fun with the drawing and keep it moving. Uh, so let's go ahead on and let's get his mouth in. So off of the nostrils, I usually like to put the corners of the mouth here and I'm gonna have his mouth come up. When we do his lips, just get kind of curl, curl his lips a little bit and out to the edge here. And then get it, the corners of his mouth going like this. And <clears throat> I want to bring his fangs down. I really want to emphasize his fangs. So for you guys, you guys that are watching this tutorial, make his fangs look like he really wants to bite you. Not like he's playing with you, but he, he actually plans to drain you. All right, put a little space here for the lip. Bring it up under like this. Kind 
kind of give it like a little thing here like you know he's really got those teeth there a little bit of authenticity for that okay now we got this drop now here he's got this gaunt chin going I'm gonna go ahead and uh take a moment and erase some of these lines here so that I can clean it slightly it won't take me forever bear with me just a moment I promise you I'll be done in just a little bit Patience is the key. It is. Trust me when I tell you. Okay. Now that I'm cleaning this up, it's coming together. Nice. All right. All right. So I've gotten it clean the way I wanted a little bit. All right. Okay. All right, now we're gonna deal with the exterior of the structure of his face. And what I wanna do is I wanna bring this jawline in here like this and around. And I wanna have kind of like a older look. Like he's been around, he's still alive, but he's been around for a while. Like he's not a young guy. A little dimple, dimple in his chin there. Do the same thing on his side. So all we're doing is repeating right to left, right side to left side, that kind of thing. And come in this way like this, kind of get that skull look on. All right, now we're gonna put his hair in for his hair. Uh, what I like to do, of course, uh, the older vampire had a widow's peak, which I always thought was cool. Uh, I'm try and modify a little bit. So we have that coming around there and then it drops in off the temple line. Um, that's your guide. You see the line still there kind of. I don't get rid of the lines completely. Then he's rocking some sideburns here. Let's bring the sideburns over down like that. And kind of woof it out on the sides. He doesn't he hasn't had a had a haircut in the guys. Uh, excuse me, hasn't had a haircut in a while, guys. And uh so Dracula doesn't go to the barber a lot. Maybe there weren't barber shops then, you know. All right, so let's bring his hair up and around. Just kind of play around with it a little bit. Okay. Now for the ears, we're gonna work on his ears a little bit. Just go in, drop that down, come in, and around like that. Same thing here on this side. We're gonna come in, drop it around. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're gonna put his neck in, of course, and uh, put a ring for the collar. And then, of course, we got the lapels and things like that for what he's wearing now the traditional dracula was really really stylish of course that that during the time uh that we're dealing with they uh they dressed a certain way let's put a bow tie in very classic style and not modernized style of dressing okay so let's go ahead and bring that bow tie out with the bow ties you see here um i apologize for not explaining the shapes and all but it's mainly, it's mainly a square in the center here. And you wanna put some loops in like that. And uh, I would say greater than and less than signs on either side. Okay, now we also wanna go ahead and he's wearing kind of a, uh, like a necklace that has a cross on it. He's somewhat of a religious guy, looks like he is anyway. He believes in something, maybe himself. I don't know. Just a little jokey joke there for you. All right. And uh, let's go ahead and drop that kind of cross shape in. Go straight 
straight down. Well, actually, you know what? I apologize, it is not a cross. Looks more like some kind of sun shape thing going on. So what I'm gonna do is just improvise here and you can do the same along with me. So I'm gonna put some circles here and create like a shape or something like that and drop that in there. So we just do three and three like that. And then it looks like a, like make it a shape, like a medallion of some kind. Maybe it's it's expensive. It looks like a Dracula had a castle or something. He's the leader anyway of all those monsters and stuff like that. So let's make this look like something like a, an old ancient ritual amulet or something like that. Let's improvise on the story a little bit. All right, one of the other features I always liked is this pop collar. True story, you can laugh about it, but when I was younger, I actually used to pop collars a lot when I wore jackets and stuff like that. So I think it's kind of funny that I, I used to want to have a vampire look when I dressed uh, or went out, things like that. So let's bring his, uh, his suit and things down like that and vest and all of that. It's just two simple lines coming in this way. You can follow me on what I'm doing here step by step, of course. I'm not doing anything spectacular, just being honest with you, it's just shapes going in different directions off of his neck and coming down. These are flexion folds. I will give you the name of what that's called. Flexion folds are folds that are gravitational pull, pulling it down. That's all it is. Nothing complicated, nothing deep. And then of course we got the, his cloak or whatever he's wearing going off of the page there. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna drop a line in his mid ear. And uh, let me see here so that I can match this side with this. And I usually, you can do this too. I usually take my pencil like this. It's a little trick I usually do about um, if I don't have anything going on. And I look like I just, I did that. I did good with matching the, the right side to the left side. Coming down like so. All right, I just wanna do a few more things and to bear with me and this drawing will be wrapped up. Let's go ahead and drop some uh, lines for his hair in. The only thing I'm doing here is if you see, I'm repeating the shape of his hair. And then it kind of goes around to the side like so and up. That's all you're doing is following the shape of what I already did earlier. And down to the side, you can shade it in if you want. And going all the way down to his sideburns. And the, look, check check out the way I'm holding my hand right now, and it's making this shape so much easier on me. And I'm gonna bring it from the top like so, and then down this way into a sideburn. All right, so this is going to complete the drawing of Dracula. I hope you had a good time hanging there with me for this Halloween treat. And uh, let me know if Dracula is one of your favorites or do you like the modern version of vampires? You can drop that in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are and why you like the modern vampires versus the old Dracula from like this, let's say 1930s or 40s and maybe you never knew about the older version and you just learned about them today. Um, enjoy your Halloween season and until next time, take care.